Yo, what is up guys? This video is the most efficient way of doing the Ashen Winds World Event in Sea of Thieves, which over there by the moon, it just looks like a tornado with red circles around it, yeah? Anyway, uh, before we head over there though, I'm going to put the Order of Souls Emissary up because I want to earn some extra cash, and it is high risk, high reward, but I'm just going to leave it. I'm pretty sure too you can get uh, extra money from gold hoarders actually more than order of souls, but I'm just gonna do um, order of souls because why not? And now I'm gonna head to the island. Alrighty, now that we've made it to the island, I'm I'm gonna have a sword, and I'm going to be using the sword lunge attacks that will be linked into the description below. I have a little tutorial on that. And then I'm going to be using a blunderbuss because it does the most damage. So let's go ahead and just go right to the island. Now, before you start, he is going to start, but before you go crazy, wherever he spawns, because obviously he spawned right here, there is always going to be an ammo chest near you. No matter what, there is always going to be... To be an ammo chest so make sure you find that ammo chest before actually starting the whole thing and then you can uh, fight him okay so as you can see he's summoning you have a confirmed two blunder shots and as you can see his lunge attack missed because I had uh, I went at a perfect like 90 degree angle, not a perfect 90 degree angle, but I did go at a 90 degree angle. So this is stage one for you. Alrighty, now this is wave two. Nothing really changes except you have to pay attention to what he is saying. I cannot see right now, I'm most likely going to die. I can't see, I can't see. Oh, I'm dead. So basically what you want to do first is grab a bucket of water. Because I totally forgot about his flame ability. We're just going to blunderbuss him here. There we go. Two confirmed shots right there. We might actually get a third one in, which we did, which is really good. Okay, so there you go. Now you want to run. That is his saying is when he's saying, uh, I need room to maneuver. That is when you want to run. So, make sure you guys watch out for that. This is stage 2. And, uh, basically, you'll know when he hits stage 2 is when he, uh, when he says, Oh, no, I'm down, and he needs help. You'll, you'll know, because it makes weird noises. So, right here, guys, as you can see, he is on wave 3. I'm kind of fighting a <laughs> skeleton right here, but, or a captain skeleton that just spawned. But, right there, as you can see, he's downed. If we actually just... You don't actually have to kill him, too. Like, he will just sit there. No, well, he, eventually he'll uh, get back up like that. But... Actually, hold on. I'm gonna try to get away from my ship. Alright, here we go. Leading him back into the ammo chest. Because I don't like him. He's on wave 3, so he's going to do something called the World Ender. Which I'm surprised has not happened yet. And all he's been doing is shooting me. With these stupid meteors. I'm gonna go run get ammo. Okay, he's flamethrowering. That gives me time to grab ammo and reload. Now he's spawning. I'm only gonna be able to get two shots in, I think. Okay, so now here it is. Since, um... He's in the covered area. I'm actually going to just run away. As you can see, he creates this huge circle. And meteors are falling down from it. It actually gives me time to kill his skeletons that he summoned. But what you want to do... Oh, okay. So if there's stuff spawning here, you want to you wanna get further away. Now he's summoning. I have a perfect two shots on him. And now I'm just going to run away, reload, and grab ammo. Because I know he's going to do a flamethrower. There he goes. 
as you do this more and more, you will get so used to it that it's so, like, it's so easy. It, it just gets easier and easier every time. Alright, so now he's doing another, uh, meteor shower. I forgot what it's called. But basically what it does is it just, it just shoots a million meters down, man. And don't park your ship too close because it will hit your ship. But it, and don't go in the water, because the water, as you can see, it's all, like, heated, and it will hurt you. I think the geysers are probably, like, the worst part, because it just makes you take so much damage. I mean, the meteors are bad, too, but... Ooh, that was close. Okay, well, now he's exploding. So, basically, on stage three, he has every single ability now. Stage 1, you got his basic abilities that he always has. Stage 2, he has his explosion. And stage 3, he has the world ender. Okay, as you can see, I dodged that pretty well. Use the sword dash. Extremely helpful, guys. Especially when the skeletons bunch up. As you can see, he's doing another world ender. So, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the time to get food and ammo because there's an ammo chest up here too. As you can see, I'm back up to five. And now we head back down. <laughs> it's as simple as that, guys. It's just a process. Blunderbuss him in the face, back up. Okay, now he's firing. Grab your bucket of water quickly, because the flamethrower does a lot of damage. He's gonna hit himself. Never mind. Oh, he's exploding. I could have taken less damage there, but I just decided to hit him instead. He's summoning, got your two shots. Now run away, reload, grab some ammo. I'm not, though, gonna run away. Now I'm gonna run away. Because all these skeletons are here and I want to kill them all. And then what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to circle these skeletons. As you can see, they are all lined up perfectly. Hit them from the side, hit them all, hit them hard. This guy's eating over here. Oh wait, there's another one. I don't know where this guy came from. Just hit him again. Just keep hitting him and hitting him. It it takes a lot of time and patience, honestly. But if if I were you, if you're a beginner, I would not do this for the reward. I would do this for practice, for fighting, pulling out your weapons, getting your water bucket quickly out, learning your keybinds and stuff. That is important things you need to do. Speed is key. And there we go. There we go. He is dead. All the loot is spawned. And if you're lucky, you can get... If you are lucky, <laughs> you can get a rowboat. Which today I was lucky enough to get a rowboat. If you don't have a rowboat, and or you don't know how to use a rowboat, that's perfectly fine. You can just put every single thing into one pile, like a sh like one pile on top of each other. Everything's got to be on top of each other. And then you can grab your boat and put up the anchor with your sails up. Then if you're going in too fast or you're not good at it, you can anchor again. But if you time it right, you can just put your ship at an angle so that you have a grappling point. And then basically you can grapple all your items super quickly instead of going back and forth and back and forth on your ship. Which, trust me, it gets annoying. Alrighty, after you've gotten your stuff on the ship, you are guaranteed a chest of rage. Basically what this does is explodes after a time has passed. What you're going to want to do is you should have a bucket of water at all times for a chest of rage basically what it's gonna do is it's going to explode i'm put the chest of rage on the bow because 
you can just pour water right on it and I will show you that right now just for a test you don't want to shoot it but I'm going to shoot it because I want to show you guys actually it's gonna do it for me man boom so as you can see it only exploded on the bow with fire just grab a bucket of water and pour it right on you can take the water and pour it onto the chest but as you can see how it's like really dark right now when you pour a bucket of water on the chest it doesn't actually calm it down all the way so yeah now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go to your map table zoom out to the point where you can actually read and look for an outpost that is closest to you obviously golden sands outpost is right next to me I'm gonna look at the compass I have to head exactly northwest so now I'm going to head up to my steering wheel well actually let me put up the anchor first when I'm gonna head to my steering wheel look at the compass it's heading northeast and I wanna head northwest so we're gonna turn all the way to the northwest and as you can see I can actually see the island because the outpost always glow with lights and then I'm just gonna turn and put my thing well since I can see the island I'm not gonna head exactly northwest I'm just gonna he put my bow to the center of the island anyway guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one